Whitney, do you stand by your statement that Lisa lacks self-awareness yes. and makes every situation about herself? I think that from yes. the... Well, yes. <laughs> no, yes. I do not. I, 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 yes, do I get to defend but myself? Shut up. But you no. have already. Honestly. No, I don't get to defend myself. But I, I hate when my intentions are so misinterpreted. It's like I just ha speak a different language, and I think no, it's like I think East that, Coast, West I think Coast. That it's actually when you ignore us after a confrontation. Like, after a confrontation happens and you don't respond to texts, you start, like, creating distance, that's when it becomes very difficult. I do because do that. It, yes. I do do that because I would rather take a step back because like I told you but I'm you a bulldog doing and it. I will come hard oh. but as your friend can you just but say I, I need say space I'll talk when I'm ready yeah I can do that instead it's not, of just it's okay. not a problem it's Whitney not a problem do you really think you're that. solely responsible for Lisa's growth as a person no Lisa at dinner never, on the first I, night in Bermuda has nothing to do with that what did Whitney mean when she said no one at the table would understand your friendship I think the biggest point she was trying to make is it's a real friendship. And that's why even when Heather asked me if you're friends, yeah, we're friends. Yeah, every time and I'm I asked like, her, she's like, I love Whitney, we are real friends. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. we built a So real Heather friendship. and Lisa, are you two bad leather? <laughs> well, good leather. Good leather. That's good my fruit leather. leather. <laughs> leather. <laughs> that was the shadiest thing you've ever said. Really? That's saying something. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Meredith, you never elaborated on the rumors and nastiness in Angie's marriage, but you did dangle that carrot first in front of Lisa at the restaurant and then to Whitney at the airport. What was your motivation in doing so, if not to get one of them to say the rumor on camera? Well, first of all, I didn't say it was her marriage. And you said, do you want me to talk about the husbands? Yes, that's the, what I And said. the family. Well, that's... Which kind I, of I actually have the exact words if we would like to go back to it. That's okay. fine. What I said exactly. Okay. If I want to go for the jugular and talk about that, the, sh the rumors, the nastiness, we can do that. You know what? You want me to go there with her husband? <laughs> <laughs> I can go there. Don't f with me. Tell her to f Okay, off. well, that seems like you're dangling a rumor about a husband. Correct. I didn't say in their marriage, though, did I? That's semantic. So I don't know. What is the difference? The difference is there could be rumors pertaining to her husband that have nothing to do with their marriage. Or okay, so about we'll, okay, Angie. let's, or about let's Angie just or okay, yeah. else. let's and there go. Are rumors okay. about everyone. Well, okay, let's fine. make that clear. Okay. It's not let's that go deep. more globally yeah. and say you dangled the rumors in front of Lisa and Whitney. So were you doing it in order to get someone else to bring them up on camera? No. Okay. In front of Lisa, I was having a reaction to Angie's behavior towards me At after the table. I'd been heavily provoked, had a couple of drinks, yes. and had some other very heavy things on my mind. That was out of well, no, anger. I told Angie, you hold on, I didn't hold on. Even Angie, I want to know what you think. Uh, based on what Monica repeated, you were threatening rumors that were about my husband's sexuality. It's not right to do this to people with families, with small children, with businesses. I am a pillar in the community in Salt Lake City, and I have always had a really incredible reputation. Because we this don't have footage of you. Because you, at a minimum, have called me a fraud. Oh. I have multiple personality disorder. I'm a lying bitch. You criticize my marriage. You criticize my business. You threaten to take a hit on my family. You call me a trampoline with eyes. An that was a compliment. That I have used my son as a pawn to take the heat off me for rumors that I did not spread. You, okay, I that I'm keep was up. going Let's do to this get one fired. By one. So that's oh, why no. I started rumors about you. That you made me relevant and you threatened me in the cave. And those oh. are just things okay. I could think of off okay. the top of okay. my head. This is great. I do think. I activated you.